Educator. Hola! Hi learners! Welcome to Remote Learning. Today we are yet on another episode of Agriculture for Grade 6. I am your host, Wango Indirango. Our sign interpreter is Velma Akinyi and our teacher is Mr. Kevin Muhia. Mr. Kevin. Yes. Welcome. Thank you. Please tell us what we're talking about today. Today? Yes. In our agriculture lesson, mm -hmm. we're going to be talking about steel the earth surface okay where we talk about the transporting of the soil from point a to point b and that was if i remember correctly was the deposition mm -hmm. right deposition or there is a terminology you have used yes we used it okay but what did we call moving the soil from point a to point b soil erosion very good yes so we are still sticking on our topic or mm -hmm. our strand mm -hmm. that is a uh, soil erosion erosion okay Sorry, we are sticking to our topic, our strand that is a soil erosion. Erosion. Okay. So, we are going to start with an interesting fact. Mm -hmm. Read the fact for us. Okay, so there are human activities that promote and increase soil erosion. They are human ac activities. activities. Yes. Remember, when mm -hmm. you talk about human activities, mm -hmm. human activities these are agents. Okay. Of soil erosion. erosion. Agents, we say these are things that promote or cause soil erosion. So we are saying human activities mm -hmm. promote and increase soil, soil erosion. erosion. Okay. So which are these human activities we are talking about? Okay, so if I'm thinking correctly, mm -hmm. I would say first of all walking. Walking. Driving. Mm -hmm, driving. Uh, maybe going to bigger ones would be maybe mining. Mining, very uh -huh. good. Yes. Quarries. Yes. You find maybe you go to a place, they are mining stones. Yes. You find a very deep hole. Yes. But initially, was the hole there? No. The ground was level. Yes. But since they had dug up, mm -hmm. they removed the soil from that point, put to it somewhere point. else. All right. When you are farming, mm -hmm. when you are farming, mm -hmm. you uh, if I remember correctly, and remind me, Lana, mm. she said that her grandmother lives in a very slopey area. Sloppy. You said that. Mm. So, when you are there, do you go to help your grandma dig the farm? I try. How do you do it? <laughs> How do you dig? How do I dig? Yes. Okay. Because in a sloppy land, mm -hmm. there is a way you are supposed to cultivate. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you go from top to bottom, mm. bottom to top, side to side. How do you do it? And I'll tell you, if you promote or you don't. Let me see. Let me see. Let me I see. I think I do it very differently from what from what my grandmother does. Mm -hmm. Honestly, I dig top to bottom. Like I dig. So going down. Yes. Straight. Yeah. What if you roll? <laughs> Remember, it's sloppy. You will roll. I said I try. Uh huh. Yeah, I try. So you but so you top to bottom. You dig top to bottom. Yeah. So if the land. Is that way? Yeah. You start here going this way. I don't think. I, I, hmm. Right now, I'm having the feeling that it is it is wrong. No, I don't know. I don't I don't know. <laughs> you will tell me. But your grandma moves from sideways. <laughs> that way. Yes, that's what she does. But for you, you go this way. Yes. Hmm. That is very interesting. You go top to bottom, from the upper side to the lower side. Um, but your grandma goes sideways. I she am. does simple. Wow. So, when you're cultivating <laughs> on a sloppy land, yes. you should cultivate sideways, like your grandmother does. Well, this way. They are called contour farmings. That is what we call wisdom. Yes. <laughs> With age. <laughs> now you have understood. Never do this. If you okay. dig top to bottom, mm -hmm. you are making the soil even more loose. I hope and, you've had. And getting prone to being carried away. Yes. 
by soil uh, that is the process of soil erosion. erosion so i'm just helping nature to just erode you are just there <laughs> causing more erosion and more erosion and that's why if you do this yeah you find yourself <clears throat> this soil erosion mm. in those days you used to, before you went there to cultivate this way mm. i believe your grandma maybe was harvesting let's say for example 40 kilograms of maize from that piece well, but now she does 20 she does 20 <laughs> Why? Sorry, Grandma. <laughs> Why? Just because mm. once that once the soil has been uh, has become loose, it mm. is carried away. Mm. Remember, we say the top soil is the one which is carried away. Yes, and it is the most fertile. Mm. So, in short, you are taking away the manure, and you find down here. Yeah. You don't cultivate down here. No. But you find there is weed growing. Yes, and you healthy weed. Baby. Very healthy weed. Very fat one. Because you removed food from the shamba, you took it to the unwanted plants. I have learned. Grandma, so if we were to eat the weeds, <laughs> yeah. the woods be very delicious by then. They have all the nutrients. Oh, That's I why know. you went from 40 to 20. And this is what we call low yields. Oh, yes. Harvests. So I'm guessing those are the effects. That's one of the effects. Of those the are some of the effects. Okay of soil and erosion so we were talking about human activities that mm -hmm. promote and increase soil erosion yes so we have the first one mm -hmm. we have mining yes we have talked about mining where they they dig up the ground mm. leaving the hole bare yes and that one can also very uh, be very dangerous okay usually here even in the news mm. okay that hole has been left mm. it rains mm -hmm. water fills it Man made looks like a dam, really. Looks like a dam. Yeah, it looks like a but dam. But to some people, it looks like a swimming pool. Oh. You have heard in the news. People they were they were they drowned swimming in a quarry. Why? Because they looked at yeah. it, it's full of water. Ah, now it is time to relax. We call it Dufumparo. I don't know what you call it at home. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I also heard someone say that. Yes. Uh, you're going to explain to me what that is later on. <laughs> Uh, parara, something, something. <laughs> Lana, help me. <laughs> so, that quarry, yeah. it, the soil has been uh, removed from there. Mm -hmm. Water fills it in. Mm. So, that is a very bad uh, health hazard. Okay. And uh, that's why people are uh, advised. Mm. The environment uh, ministry, they usually advise people, once you are done with the quarry, get soil, fill it up. Mm. Don't leave it empty. Yeah. Remember, children are children. Yes. They will just still go. And experiment. Yeah. And what will happen? They lose their life. Mm. So to my learner, on a sad note, don't ever dare swim on those quarries. Yes. They are, uh, they are yeah. a health hazard. Good. Yeah. From there we have overgrazing. Okay. What when you talk about overgrazing, mm. this is where you keep animals, mm. many animals in a small portion of land. Mm -hmm. So let's say for example, you have that portion of land. Mm. That portion, let's call it call it a paddock. Okay. You put it's supposed to feed, mm. uh, let's say twenty cows, mm -hmm. but since you have bought more cows, mm. you put fifty cows. Okay. What is going to happen? The grass here is supposed to be feeding twenty cows, mm. but you have put fifty cows in there. That's thirty cows more. That is thirty cows more. Yeah. What will they do? They're going to eat the grass until they even uproot the leaves, the the roots. And if they uproot the leaves, what uh, the roots, what will happen? Well, only soil will be left. There'll, there'll exactly. Be no more, yeah. So there will be no more grass. Yes. So the land will remain bare. The 50 cows are going to cause their land to become bare. bare. Okay. So you have done what you call over grazing. grazing. You are supposed, you are uh, supposed to remove them from there, okay. spread them evenly in mm. your paddocks. When you talk about the keeping of animals, a big ranch, mm -hmm. you divide it. Mm -hmm into small paddocks okay so for example you can keep uh, some in paddock a mm. some in paddock c b c and d. d spread them evenly okay but if you put all the cows that are supposed to fit in four paddocks in one paddock then that is what you're calling overgrazing okay and you'll okay. be they will remove the ground cover that mm. is the grass that is there okay yes okay another one mm -hmm. we have farming on sloppy land mm. like our wangoi here does to her grandmother's land oh. digging on sloppy grounds yes but yes it's not you're supposed to cultivate yes remember agriculture it is the heart mm. of our of, of our 
living. Yes, true. We need the food. Yes, we do. But still, having the sloppy land, mm. there is a way that we are supposed to do it. Mm -hmm. Not just digging, mm. taking a jembe, a panga, a hoe, and just doing it. Mm. There is a method of doing it mm. on those sloppy lands. Okay. So those are some of the human activities that promote and increase so soil erosion. erosion. Okay. Good. Right. You good with that fact? We are very good. Okay. Yes. We we'll go to the next one. Mm. Now, basic question. What happens when it rains? Um, water droplets from the clouds mm -hmm. come down to the ground. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, they come down to the ground. Yes. You know, I thought you would tell me we get water. We do get water. Yes, that yeah, is the first water. thing. Yeah. We get water to drink. And rainwater is very sweet, you know that? Oh my, yes, 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 yes it is. Especially oh. the one that has been harvested yes. just after a very long time of uh, uh. the sunny season. Mm -hmm. And they have that dust taste. Taste, yes. And uh, there is usually the dust aroma. You know. And you know you can't get enough of that water. Yeah, you just, just have drinking and drinking until and drinking. you have a we not call it a pot belly, a water belly because water, now you yeah. you can drink and drink anyway. Yes. Apart from that. Mm -hmm. So we are talking about erosion. Yes. So this water mm -hmm. from the clouds, mm -hmm. once it comes down, mm -hmm. it hits the ground. Mm -hmm. We say once it hits the ground, it forms small holes. Yes. Where the soil was, it was detached, mm -hmm. goes somewhere else. Yes. So there is that hole formed there. Mm -hmm. The repeated process continues mm. what happens to that water will it stay there will it start piling up and you find a mountain of water mm -mm, somewhere mm -mm. what happens it starts flowing it starts flowing it starts flowing yes and when it starts flowing mm -hmm. we call it runoff water oh that's runoff water that is runoff okay. water okay we call it run off water. this is the water that flows okay so when it is raining and you see the water flowing, mm -hmm. we call that runoff. Runoff water. Yes. All right. Another question. Mm -hmm. What happens when the wind blows? When it's raining or just when the wind blows? When the wind is blowing. Just wind. Well, it can carry off um, loose soil. Mm -hmm. The loose soil? Yes. The papers? Yes. The light materials? Yes. Sometimes you see leaves flying mm -hmm. and you wonder. Yes. You can see stones flying, isn't it? Ah, uh, no. So I've never cannot... seen a stone flow, flying with the wind. Hmm. So wind cannot carry this, the stones. The stones are heavier. The, the stones are very heavy. But it can carry the papers and Leaves some dust particles. And some and dust adults, particles, right? yes. yes. So a stone is compact. Mm, that would be funny, actually. Because a, da and a dust particle is loose. Mm. So that is why it's carried away. Yes. The same thing we talk about detachment. Okay. You see where the detachment comes in? Mm -hmm. The soil particles, they were compact, mm -hmm. but they were broken down. Yes. That's why they, are able, they were able to be carried away mm -hmm. by that wind. Mm -hmm. So when the wind blows, there, uh, it carries away the topsoil. Mm -hmm. And you usually find when the wind blows, it forms like a pattern. Mm -hmm. And you cannot say the wind passed here. Mm -hmm. It is passing all over a very large piece of land. Yes. It forms something. Yes. Like in the desert. Have you ever gone to the desert? No. Or you have ever watched a video clip of maybe a movie somewhere happening somewhere in the desert? Yes. And you usually find there are things. Yes. Hmm? Sand yeah. somewhere just there. Yes. That's called a sand dune. Okay. A sand dune. Uh -huh. Use your digital devices and find out what is a sand dune. dune. We call it a sand dune a sand dune find out okay. what it is find out mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so from there mm -hmm. what happens when the water is flowing away? away definitely when it is flowing away it is carrying the top part of the, of the soil. soil and remember we say the top fertile part of the soil it's the most fertile part of that is yes. what we call the humus mm. that is where the organic matter is mm. so i want us to observe mm -hmm that picture okay and talk about what you can see mm -hmm. well i can see a tree mm -hmm. there is a tree there's a green tree and i can see what looks like mm -hmm. dead crops tree. there are dead crops mm -hmm. yeah they are i there. can see water mm -hmm. well a little bit of water anyway that mm -hmm. seems to be following a channel 
Uh -huh. So there is water following a channel somewhere. Yeah. Okay. Mm. So you find mm -hmm. there is a tree somewhere mm. alone, mm. no other plant. Yes. Then if you look at that picture properly, the ground is slanted. It's not flat. No. It is slightly slanted. Yes. Since it's slightly slanted, mm -hmm. you can find on this top part, mm -hmm. it's bare. Okay. But there is somewhere down there where there are heaps of leaves. Yes. There are others which are scattered. Mm. And on the tree, tell me something that you can note about the tree. Hmm. The tree is green. I can see the roots. You can see the roots. I can see the roots of the tree. Okay. Yeah. And uh, in real sense, are you supposed to see roots of a tree? No. They're supposed to be so. underground. They're supposed to be underground, yes. So, we can see the soil has been carried away exposing those roots. That can't be good. And uh, it's very dangerous. Okay. Because now, let's assume that happens again and again, mm. two more times. Will the plant, will the tree be strong enough? Uh, no, it will fall. It is going to fall It's off. going to fall. So, when you talk about this, mm. you can find that this is a form of erosion mm. because it has carried away. Okay. And you look... The top part has nothing, mm. but the d bottom part, there are things that are there. There are heaps. We can say, let's say, litter or organic matter that is down there. Yes. So, one of the things that we have noted, yeah. they are the exposed roots. Yes. You can see the exposed roots of mm -hmm. the trees. Mm -hmm. They are there. Yes. From there, we can have exposed rocks and, and stones. stones. Okay. So we are talking about the the keyword here is exposed. 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 So when you talk about exposed, mm -hmm. it is, means it was buried. Yes. But right now it is coming up. Yes. It was down there. When the soil is swept away, they are now becoming visible. From there, another one we have eroded soil mm -hmm. deposited at lower areas. areas. Okay. Just like we have seen or uh, noted in our diagram. Mm. This land becomes bare, mm. but uh, the land becomes bare. Mm -hmm. But you find down here, this is where you're going to have heaps mm. of the deposited soil. Yeah, the deposited soil plus mm. the organic matter. Okay, the organic matter, the organic matter. Okay, so there are these two things the land here remains bare because everything has been carried has away. Been carried away yes. So when you are cultivating our grandma's land. Mm -hmm. We are here, the maize plants that, that, that had remained once she, have, uh, she harvested, they were left there. They are carried away mm. and they will be deposited down here. Okay. Later on, they decay. They become humus. Yes. So the soil here becomes very fertile. Yes. Whereas this one left up here, where you are really toiling, yes. it is not fertile. Okay. And that leaves us the low yields. The low mm, yields. The low yields. Yeah. The, uh, the poor harvests. Mm. And when you talk about this kind of soil erosion, you not you don't notice it very easily. Mm. It is not noticeable. Okay. Because you'll just think uh, these plants that remained here, they will be carried from here. Maybe you find them here. Mm -hmm. The next day you find them here. Mm. So you don't have that low. You're not okay. really noticing. Yes, that is true. Yeah. And an interesting fact mm -hmm. at homes mm -hmm. once you wake up in the morning you find yourself taking a broom sweeping yes that is erosion that is the uh, first thing you do in the morning right yes it is you take a broom you, <laughs> and sweep. you sweep yes you are sweeping the soil yes so later on you come to find out that maybe there was concrete somewhere yeah there has been holes mm. dug the compound itself there were plants there were flowers there the ground is going, is becoming deeper and deeper and, and deeper. deeper. And you wonder why. Oh. So, when you talk about this kind of erosion, you don't realize it. Yes, they are quite slow. It's very slow. Slow. And once it becomes, it's very slow and dangerous. Yes. Very slow and dangerous. dangerous. Because you are sweeping, there is a tree near the house, the roots become exposed. Mm. And you don't just think, ah, these ones are just fine. Mm. They're just fine. Later on, what will happen to the tree? It becomes weak. When yeah. the wind comes, blows it off, ah. falls on the house. Wow, that's... Let's pay attention. And we learn these things, honestly. I think um, that's a very important thing to note. Especially those of us who have compounds that we know that we sweep every day. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, yeah. causes. Mm -hmm. One cause 
cultivation on slopey land. Okay. That is one we have already talked about mm. it. The next one, we have lack of ground cover crops. Okay, so what are ground cover crops? I remember in our last uh, lesson, we learned about grass. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Ground cover crops. crops. So we have the word ground. Yes. The ground is basically the surface. The surface that we are in. Yes. Or on. Mm. Then we have cover. Mm. Cover, ni kufanya nini? Ni kufunika. kufunika. It's like protection. Exactly. Yeah. Putting something on top of something. Yes. Then we have crops. Mm. Crops is basically a Plants. plant. Yes. So when you talk about surface uh, ground cover crops, mm. we are talking about the crops that we grow covering the earth or covering the soil. Mm -hmm. So these crops should grow mm. horizontally. Okay. Remember crops grow vertically. Mm. Vertically. Mm. But we need the ones that grow horizontally. horizontally. Okay. So the, we need crops that spread out. Okay. Give so me an crops. example that oh, spread out. So I'm thinking sweet potatoes. Mm -hmm. Sweet potatoes. Watermelons. I've never seen a sweet potato hung, by the way. Yeah. I've never seen a watermelon hung. hung yeah. So th when you talk about cover crops. Yeah. We are talking about crops that once once you grow you mm. plant them, they will spread out. Yes. And once they spread out, mm. they cover up the ground. Mm. So when the water droplet comes, mm. will uh, once it hits the ground, is it going to detach the soil? No, it really no. won't. It yeah. remains the same. The same, yes. Good on that one? Yes. So we have the ground cover crops. Mm. Make sure you identify more cover crops. Yes, so please many. do. I've already given you two. I've told you sweet potatoes and watermelons. Think about more. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Actually, you give them three. Oh, yeah. And grass. grass. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so the next one, mm -hmm. another cause. Lack of trees to hold the soil family. Trees are very important. Trees are very, very important. Very important, yes. Very. Mm. Number one, they hold the soil family. Yes. To prevent soil erosion. Okay. Two, they are plants. Mm. They give us oxygen. Mm -hmm. We breathe out carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide, yes. Those are trees. That's they a good relationship. Plants. Very. Mm. Scratch my back, I scratch I yours. I scratch yours. Healthy. Exactly. Yes. Then, another importance of trees. Mm -hmm. They are wind breakers. Yes, they are. Wind is a soil er uh, is an agent of soil erosion. Mm. Trees mm. prevent wind. Mm -hmm. So, they break the wind. Actually, they don't stop the wind. Mm. They just break it, Kidogo. Mm. The speed. Yeah. If it was blowing very hard, mm. at least it reduces. Okay. Okay. We go to the next one. Heavy rainfall. Mm. When it's raining heavily, remember the water is going to hit the ground mm. and flow yes. in all directions. Yes. And when it's flowing in all directions, just like we saw on our diagram, mm. once it is flowing, it's going to carry everything. Yes. That is on its path. Yes. Going, depositing it elsewhere mm. until it reaches somewhere mm. where it is going to follow one channel. Okay. Like a river. All right. When you talk about a river, mm. that's an interesting fact. We have small, small funny rivers. Yes. Then from there we have one big one river. One big river. So this is how sheet erosion happens. Yeah. You find th the water will flow. Mm from all directions because when it's raining yeah. everywhere rains yes not specific paths yes it rains everywhere yeah so this water flows down mm. then it joins these paths mm -hmm. once it joins those paths mm -hmm. they follow a simple channel okay and when they are following that channel mm -hmm. that channel if not looked at it becomes a bigger channel mm-hmm it becomes a bigger channel. A bigger channel. Okay. But that one is a session for another day. For another day. All yes. right. So <clears throat> when you talk about causes, mm. we have heavy rainfall mm. carries everything yes. away. All right. Yes. All right. So today we have learned about uh, sheet erosion, and we've also looked about looked at the causes of sheet erosion, and we've also seen how to stop soil erosion. Thank you so much. Yes. So do we have an assignment? Yes, we do. Uh huh. We have talked about this type of erosion mm. and we have said it occurs on a flat land mm -hmm. where you don't realize it. Yes. It occurs on slopey areas, mm -hmm. on bare lands, mm. and you don't realize mm. it. So this type of erosion, we call it shit. Yes. Erosion. Mm -hmm. Where we talk about shit erosion mm. occurs due to uniform runoff. 
runoff this is the water that mm. flows mm -hmm. so when you talk about sheet erosion mm. it is the thin uniform layer mm. of moving water carrying away the top fertile, fertile. soil so that form of <coughs> soil erosion we have called it sheet erosion, erosion. right and for your assignment now mm -hmm. use the digital devices mm -hmm. And that is, of course, with the guidance of your parent or teacher. Or even a guardian. Exactly. Yes. Your bigger brother. Sister. Exactly. Cousin. And find out mm -hmm. how do we prevent and control mm -hmm. this soil erosion. All right. The one that we have called sheet, sheet erosion. erosion. Thank you so much, Mr. Muhia. You're welcome. All right. So today we have been learning about sheet erosion. And we've learned how, about the causes, prevention, and control. And our assignment today was to find out more using our digital devices with the help of our teachers, guidance, guardians, or parents to see how we can control these erosions. Now, we have come to the end of our lesson, and we thank you so much for joining us. We ask you that you continue to learn with us. Hashtag learn more. I have been your host, Wango Indirango. Our sign language interpreter has been Velma Akinyi, and our teacher has been Mr. Kevin Muhia. We ask you to follow us on our social media platforms on YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter at EduTV Kenya. Until next time, it's goodbye for now. Goodbye. Educator.